Hey boys, welcome back. You know what I really hate? Capitalism. So I've decided we need to get rid of it. So you know how most schools will have a school store that's usually full of like supplies, basic utilities for all students. You know, they got like notebooks, pencils, basic school supplies, maybe even some school merch. Is it called merch? Am I just that much of an influencer? But my school understood what the students really wanted, food. There was so much garbage food that you could buy for cheap ass prices. There were like Slim Jims for 50 cents, a bottle of chocolate milk cost a dollar, a bag of goldfish crackers cost 50 cents. I got him. That was the longest build-up to a shot that I've ever taken in my life. I'm leaving all of that in, just so you can see. So my school knew, these kids just want food. They don't care about anything else. They would order pizza and bring it to the school on Fridays for us to buy a slice of it. For a dollar! And I'm thinking about it, that's no overpriced as hell. A dollar for a slice of pizza? But for some reason, it was just the store that they gave a shit about the kids wanting to eat garbage food. The vending machines sucked. Like, the only drinks that were in the vending machine were flavored water. There was, like, only one good thing to buy in any vending machine in the entire school. All the drinks that they had were just flavored water. So the school store was pretty popular. Definitely the most popular thing in the entire school store were the bottles of chocolate milk. Think about it, at the vending machine for $1.50 you can buy flavored water that barely tastes any different. Or at the school store you can buy an entire bottle of chocolate milk for a dollar. But I guess the school never really considered the thought of someone bringing more than three dollars. They never pondered the idea that someone might have more than three three dollars on them when they went to the school store because a five dollar bill bought out the whole store. I was in study hall, I think it was 10th grade, and I decided, you know what, I have a five dollar bill on me, there's stuff you can buy there for 50 cents, I'm gonna buy out the entire stock. So I did. Technically, I sent my friend Jamie to do it, but still, it was my money. I sent that man in there with $5. He came back with 10 bags of goldfish crackers with change left over. We bought out the entire stock, and it had just restocked that day, and they only restocked like once a month. It was bad. I don't think they had ever dealt with anything like that before. And let me just say, they did not learn their lesson. Like three months later, we're sitting at our table in study hall, and I have a $10 bill this time so we start scheming how can we ruin the school this time and finally we decide we're gonna break the school's economy with fucking chocolate milk so once again we send jamie down into the pits of hell also known as the school store this dude comes back both hands full of bottles of chocolate milk we get yelled at by the teacher because of course that bitch hates fun and i guess the school learned their lesson this time because they then up the price from one dollar per bottle of chocolate milk to a dollar 25 capitalism ruins everything yet again then i stopped going to the school store because i became an adult and was allowed to go on oc or open campus and i was allowed to leave the school legally sometimes but i remember going in there for something once in my senior year and they had changed out the chocolate milk with some other drink that looked awful i think it was just more flavored water if i'm gonna be honest we ruined an entire section of the school also there was that one time when my brother was in high school he's a few years older than me and apparently some kid got arrested for selling edibles in the school store how did you think that was gonna work out for you man mm.